I've done a lot of crazy things in my life. I've jumped out of an airplane. I've explored castles. I've swam in the deepest lake in the US. I've climbed some really big rocks. One time I drove down such a steep hill that it actually caught my brakes on fire. Uh, my brakes are on fire. Oh, get the fire extinguisher. Oh, that's bad, it's on fire. My brakes are on fire. <laughs> I learned how to sail. But now I'm doing the craziest thing I've ever done. I'm quitting my job in order to make my own video games. And if you told me that this is where I would be a few years ago, I would have called you crazy. But hey, here we are. And I know what you're thinking. But Thomas, isn't this kind of an irresponsible thing to do? Just up and quit your job? To which I would reply, I think it would only be irresponsible if I was crippled by tremendous amounts of student debt, had to save up for a big trip to go to my buddy's wedding in Europe, and uh, if I had a baby on the way in just a few months. Uh-oh. So that begs the question, why would I leave? The pay was good, I liked my coworkers, I liked the project that I was working on, so why would I leave? Well, there were a few reasons, and I don't know if any of you will be able to resonate with these, but these are some of the reasons why I felt like it was time for me to take the plunge and see if I could create and sell my own video games. The first reason was time. I wanted to take control of my schedule. I was working 40 hours a week, and a good chunk of that was wasted in my eyes because I was stuck in meetings. And these meetings didn't benefit my work at all. They were almost all just different forms of me giving updates to different parts of the team on what I was working on. Additionally, I wasn't rewarded for getting better at my job. If I was given one week to do something, and if I concentrated really hard and was able to get it done in just three days, I was rewarded with more work. And I aspired to be in a place where I could earn more time for myself if I got better at doing certain things. And of course, with a baby on the way, Time will be my most valuable resource. It made me think about the future of my growing family, how I want to use my time, and how I want to prioritize the flexibility of my schedule above the perceived need to have more money. Another reason why I wanted to jump ship at this time is because I felt like I hit the limit for what I was learning. You see, when I first started at my job, it felt like I was drinking out of a fire hose, and I loved every second of it. Okay, time out, we got kittens. Hello. Excuse me, do you think now is a good time for me to quit my job? I felt like I hit my limit for what I was learning at my job. When I first started at my job, it felt like I was drinking through a fire hose. I was learning so much every day that it was hard to keep track with everything that was going into my brain. I loved to learn and I wanted to keep growing. However, I felt like my opportunities to grow at this job were severely limited. I had learned more than enough to make some killer games by myself. Another big factor was my desire for a creative outlet. Working at a game studio, I was mostly constrained to my one skill, programming. We had other people on the team who were tasked with designing how the game should play, what the art should look like, what the story is, and so on. There are so many facets that go into game development, and I didn't want to be pigeonholed into just one discipline. So once I decided that I wanted to quit my job, the next big question was, well, when do I do it, and how do I make it happen? You see, I have bills to pay, and debt, and all of this stuff that goes into living, so I had to get very intentional with my relationship with money. I started tracking what I spent money on every month. I tracked income, bills, expenses, groceries, gas, insurance, travel, recreation, everything. And only after processing all of that data was I able to do the math to figure out how long I would have to keep working to give myself a financial runway. You see, I can't just quit my job and keep trying to make games forever. So those are some of the steps that I took to minimize the risk of me quitting my job. Now don't get me wrong, it's still risky, but it's a very intentional, calculated risk with a clear timeline. It's not a decision that I came to lightly. So the question remains, what am I going to be doing now? Well, I've already talked a bit about it, but I have a threefold plan set up, and each of the three branches will be given an allotment of time for me to work on throughout each week. The first and biggest of the three is game development. I'm going to continue to develop and release my own games on Steam and consoles. My first Steam game should be coming out in a couple of months, so keep your eyes open for that. And I will be leaning on you nice folks to help me to decide what to work on next. I have a lot of ideas, but I want input from you to see what actually sounds fun to play. 
I have a lot of ideas, and I'll be sharing my top few game ideas in a future video and taking a poll to see which one you think sounds the best. I want to create small scoped games so that I can release a few of them within the course of one year. Okay, that was number one. The second branch of my business strategy is to create YouTube videos. Now that I have more time to devote to making videos for this channel, you should be seeing a lot more videos coming your way in the next few weeks. Now that I have more time to devote to this channel, I'm going to be uploading much more frequently, and hopefully I can figure out what I'm doing here and get better with each upload. So you should be seeing a lot more of me in the coming weeks. Now might be an awesome time for you to subscribe. Okay, the third part of my strategy is to create online courses teaching game development. Gameplay programming is my bread and butter, so I have a lot that I can teach others who are interested in learning. These courses will probably be project-based and listed on Udemy. And that's what I'm gonna be focusing on for the next long while. If I can't make any money doing that, my plan B is to start doing freelance work as a gameplay programmer. And if that still doesn't bring in enough money to make ends meet, then I'll start looking for another 9 to 5 job again. Hopefully it doesn't come to that, but we'll see what happens. It's a very exciting time in my life. Who knew that 2023 would be the year that I quit my job, travel overseas, and then have my first kid? It's a whirlwind of a journey, but I'm excited to be on it and covering it all in these YouTube videos. I'm not going to shill my Patreon very hard, but I will mention that I did just start one, so if you want to support my new endeavors, that would be the place to do it and get the inside scoop of what I'm up to. I'm in a crazy period of transition in my life, and it's all very exciting. So thanks for joining me on this wild ride, and I'll see you all in the next one. Flames on the brakes. So...